Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Yes, we have stuff to do as Eve. We have stuff to do as Samson. You know what? We have a full side to take out with Azazel. I'm gonna try to do this. Azazel's kind of a nice character to keep our kind of semi-streak going here. I'll, I'll look at the sea, just give me a moment here. Nice quick run, hopefully. Not to say that we're guaranteed to win, but one way or the other it'll probably be quick. Mystery sack, alright. Three. Zero, three, Q, Z, Q, E, D, C. Got it. Queen Elizabeth, District of Columbia. We should be shooting some of this poop, but I'll admit that when it comes to the poop shooting, I'm, a, I'm not doing the poop shooting boogie, Brooks and Dunn style. I, uh, I can find myself a little bit lazy at, about it at times, admittedly. It's not the way I should be, so let's try to be... A little bit more sensible and we'll take our time to actually perfect the beat and if possible I would like to still have love for the streets. It's the DRE. It's the AZA. Z Z A E L. Please give me a bomb so I can access that tinted rock. I would very much, you know, I'd be obliged to you for the rest of the game. In fact, two bombs might even be nice considering there's another tinted rock right over there. But either way, we're probably going to see uh some more HP coming our way from this boss fight. We'll see. It's on the cellar. Fighting the Widow doesn't really bother me that much. The danger with the Widow is, uh, obviously it getting close to you. I'm canceling my shots. That's how, like, MLG I'm getting at, at his hazel. Now I'm being facetious. Um, but I'm canceling my shots there because, uh, I want to make sure that I'm shooting as quickly as possible to clear out the enemies. Not because I want to rush through the game, but because, uh, I want to get my shots charged up to actually attack the boss. And if it only takes a, you know, one-tenth of a shot to kill an enemy, we might want to dedicate our efforts elsewhere as soon as possible. Super Envy. Does Super Envy still just give you Shoop the Whoop? Because, I, I mean, I feel like Shoop the Whoop is not really that good if you already have your own little miniature Shoop the Whoop, which does a lot more damage, and you can use it all the time for free. Well, we'll never have to know, thankfully, because we picked up a single consumable. Truth be told, I'm not that salty. Nice little attack there. Uh, one bomb is an okay payout for us. Mystery Sack should also allow us to maybe get more consumables. I, I'll just admittedly tell you, I don't really know what Mystery Sack does. My assumption has always been that it was kind of like the rainbow baby of the Sack Familiars. Discluding uh, Juicy Sack. So, my assumption has been that it'll give you some kind of consumable now and then. You just don't know what it'll be. Yeah, well, we're not going to do that. Uh, but one bomb may allow us to actually get two Tinted Rocks if we get lucky enough to find, like, Spirit Heart and Tinted Rock in our first one here. Spirit Heart and Bomb, I mean. Instead, we got the opposite. Uh, a key hole that we can't access. That's okay. Doesn't key hole sound like it could be some kind of artisan baked food product? I think it might be. Croissant? Cronut? Key hole? Donut hole? Yeah, you know, one of these things is not like the other. Yet. There is uh, another two Tinted Rocks. Of course, you know, when I have no bombs, I can apparently spawn Tinted Rocks like crazy. When I have bombs, I end up leaving them all behind. Now, the big deal here is not uh, Tinted Rocks, but the fact that we have no keys. Without any keys, we don't have... Oh, come on with that. Without any keys, we don't have a glorious chance of really accomplishing all that much on this run. Although we should have... Wow, that's... Bad luck twice in a row. Uh, we should have a very good chance to get uh, a deal with the devil. In fact, considering we found our boss room so quickly, I'd say a near guaranteed chance of getting a deal with the devil. Let's see. Monstro, you know, easy fight, easy life. This would be the perfect opportunity for us to become Guppy. Nine lives if it showed up right now would be a no-brainer pickup. Meat, well now it would be no-brainer, but it still could be good. Razor Blade? <sighs> I'll tell you what. I'm going to take Razor Blade with me. I don't know that I've actually picked it up yet, so this might be something that contributes towards Golden or Platinum God. Um, and it's been so long since I've used it, I've kind of forgotten what it even does. I know that it gives you extra damage uh, when you pop it, but does it take half of your red hearts or one of your red hearts, or does it take uh, whatever heart is closest available? So in our case, it would be uh, that black heart at the edge there. The other reason I took this is because um, we want to keep deal with the Devil precedent. We had a little weird series of, that was terrible, deal with the angel interactions last time. It didn't, uh, well, it didn't work out terribly. We ended up winning that run. Didn't work out fantastically, though. 
Speed downgrade, I don't love it. By the way, I need to issue an apology to the uh, Tim McGraw Foundation. And if we could get another bomb, there's another Tinted Rock. Well, another two, I guess, but uh, I have previously been saying I want it, I like it, I love it, I want some more of it. And attributing that falsely to Toby Keith. I need to uh, issue an apology to Tim McGraw and uh, Mrs. Tim McGraw Faith Hill. I think they're still together. What a what a powerful couple. And just say, hey, I, I didn't realize that it was you. I thought it was Toby Keith. Big difference. My bad. Well, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to access too much of anything at all here. I am going to go to the curse room. I understand the risks. Never tell me the odds. Okay, it was a good choice. Uh, we're going to be leaving. You know what? There we go. I figured we'd pop uh, pop the razor blade and see how it worked, and it did indeed take one of our uh, black hearts. So now we know for the future. We still we turned a profit on that curse room regardless of that, but um, well, we're probably not going to use the razor blade too much, but we've already used it indirectly to make sure that we can get a deal with the devil in the future. Hopefully on this floor if we end up playing our cards right. Additionally, it would be nice to be able to uh, get a key. Or maybe even more than one, you know? Access an item room and a shop? I know, it sounds like a foreign concept. Foreign concept is my favorite uh, EDM band. Whoa, there we go. Piggy bank. This is not really at all what we were looking for, but it's okay. It's acceptable. And, uh, you know, it actually synergizes quite nicely with the razor blade if, and only if, we ever had any reason to use the razor blade, which we really don't. It would actually be cool if the razor blade was like, um, if it was like the way that you use IV bag as Samson. So you could use it to like, um, give yourself damage upgrades by taking your, uh, your red hearts instead of your, your extra special hearts. Because the fact that it takes whatever heart is like most closely available to it at the edge of the map, it makes it almost unusable. At least, at least for the way that I play the game. You may feel differently, and I, I'd love to hear from people that do. I guess it, it could still be useful in, you know, niche circumstances. Like, maybe you get, um, maybe you have, like, don't go stand next to that. Maybe you have, uh, you know, 12 red hearts and no spirit hearts. Then Razor Blade, I can actually see that being pretty okay. Not for me in my current situation, though. Eh, that didn't access that Tinted Rock for us. That one will. No? All right, well, you know, I don't mind using my own bomb. Don't make me pay the Krampus tax. Well, we don't have to worry about that, unfortunately. We get an orbital and... a pill. God damn it. <laughs> Work with me on this one, game. Come on. I think I've been doing admirably for an Azazel run right now. You know, we've taken a little bit of damage that we probably should not have, but it's not like we're, we're pooping the bed or anything like that. And remember, we're going dark room this time. Hey, the good news is, of course, oh, that was terrible. Good news is, you don't need too much to make an Azazel run work. The bad news is, we, we have nothing right now, except our, our starting Azazel uh, action. Which is great, don't get me wrong. But not really enough. So I'm going to take Guppy's paw with me. We're one third of the way to becoming Guppy. We should have a good chance at a deal with the devil in the future. And if we end up getting down to our, uh, you know, the nitty gritty here when it comes to our red hearts, we can always use Guppy's paw to give us a little bit more HP. Or we can use it late in the game to give ourselves a uh, little HP boost. Keys are coming fast and furious now. I wonder what we missed out on on the last floor. Well, that's not so good. Oh, this is awesome. Okay. Uh, Mom's key gives us extra keys, which for seven cents is pretty good, and also our chests will be more valuable. So this is pretty solid. I think that'll do it for this floor. Um, we'll check for a secret room just in case. We'll check for a secret room just in case. Right here, maybe we can get two uh, mushrooms. I'll get it, Tomo. Just relax, buddy. You know what? I will gamble on this. We can't blow it up yet, so we might as well see if we get one consumable out of it. We did have a luck downgrade, so I don't have high hopes. Oh! Thank God we don't have to bomb our way through that anymore. Alright, let me get the door for you here, my friend. Come on! Get in here. You're grounded, mister. He's got a bad habit. You want to like uh, give him a little bit of the spray bottle or something like that. It's you know like a kid refusing to eat his vegetables. He's just getting a little 
ornery about it. I don't want to have to dis my, discipline my cats live on the show, but that's kind of the way it's looking like it's going to go. I've got this uh, can of compressed air next to me. The sound of it uh, makes the cats freak the F out. I don't like to scare them, but hey, you got to do what you got to do to break the habit Linkin Park style. We don't actually spray the cats like in the face with the compressed air. There's all sorts of chemicals and stuff in it that, uh, you know, nasty stuff we don't want to worry about. Anyway, long story short, you don't need to hear about my, you know, cat whisperer problems. We got to get Jackson over here. Jackson, are you listening? We should be relatively safe right now. You know, we picked up some spirit hearts. Peep is not going to be much of a problem for us. Our damage is good. We're nine minutes into the run and we're on the fourth floor already, which it's like faster than we've done the first two floors on a lot of recent runs. That feels pretty good, but we really need to get a deal with the devil here, and it would be amazing if we could become Guppy. Because I would really love the ability to fly and deal high damage. Oh, wait. Um, two of hearts. The fool. Well, I'll tell you what. Walk in here. Sure. Um, one of those is a luck down. The other one is pheromones. We're going to fool card out. I actually really like the fool card as a Zazel because there's a very, very good chance that you actually make it to the, uh, that you make it to boss rush. At least you, you qualify for it. Oh, well, what the heck is going on here? Just, uh, Adobe. You don't need to update right now, Adobe. I'm in the middle of doing stuff, Adobe. You're almost as bad as Tomo is. All right, let's resume game. Frame rate should be fine. It is. Speed down. Not really that interested in that right now. Hanged man. That's a funny joke. Oh, now it's getting a little framey here. If you just give it a minute, I have faith that it'll take care of itself. Because it wasn't Mathis messaging me on Skype. Which apparently you need to send out the, you know, Geek Squad for. Pay $100, they'll teach you how to set up your Xbox Live account. Magic Mushroom. It's a fantastic item. Anyway, yes, it would, it would be awesome to become Guppy. And additionally, the Fool card is, is worth keeping... In my opinion, you start with one as Azazel always. It kind of seems like they wanted you to cheese the boss rush room with Azazel. You know, you'll be super good, go snag an item in there, and then teleport out. I'm on to your, your game here, Edmund and Tyrone. HP's looking pretty solid. I'll open it. I'm not scared. He says as he backs away from it slowly. Enough money to make uh, our shop worthwhile for sure. And it's a jar and PhD. PhD, I remember now, gives you a pill. Now, our pill is luck up. That's pretty okay. Now, there's other pills kind of associated with this run right now. We should probably go down and get them. Might as well. We're going to explore every room anyway, so if we can backtrack and get good pills, we'll kill two birds with one stone. For half a spirit heart, we can go back into that curse room and take whatever pills we were missing, but I think one of them is just, um... Speed up. I think one of them is just, uh, pheromones, and the other one was range down or something, so maybe I'll, I'll save the spirit heart and not do it. This is not a very efficient way to handle this floor right now, by the way, uh, but that's okay. You know, like, go all the way to one side, then come all the way back around to the other side. That's uh, inadvisable, but luckily we're uh, Azazel, so we're going to be fast enough that it is pretty unlikely to matter either way. Whoa, you say either? We say either in our part of the way. It's okay, don't worry about it. you got to broaden your horizons, man. If I say Z, people go, what, mate? You're Canadian. Don't betray your Canadian roots. It's Zed. If I say Zed, people go, whoa, buddy, where are you from? You talk funny. You gotta, you gotta, you know, go live in a part of the world where you, where you have an accent for once. It really makes you more easygoing about the way people, uh, you know, speak. You get a little grammar wrong. That's okay. Maybe English is like your sixth language. You know, or maybe it's your first language, and you just say, hey, you know, not everybody's good at not everybody's good at speaking. Some people are good at other stuff. Apparently, uh, we're gonna enter here. Come on, Guppy, Guppy. You can't just give me three bombs. No, you can give me some spiders as well. Lovely. Uh, we've been to our item room. We've been to our shop. I think it's time for us to go down to the next floor. Save a little bit of time by not checking out absolutely every single room. Curse of the Lost. Can't see where we're going, but that's okay. These troll bombs are getting a little out of hand. What do I need to make this run work? Not very much, to be honest with you. Either more HP or, uh, you know, some way to give ourselves more spirit hearts or, or black hearts, as the case may be. 
the ability to actually access all remaining item rooms for the rest of the game wouldn't be so bad. We're on Necropolis 1, so being able to cheese a boss rush item, you know, it seems very much in the cards for us. Yeah, I, I double dog there. You come all the way around. This is not a good look for you, Skulls. I didn't hear any consumables drop. Man, Curse of the Lost sucks because I can't tell when the big rooms are to avoid them. Uh, we might as well shoot all this. Chests have more in them now, remember? Yeah, it was pretty good. Four bombs. Thought maybe we'd get a tarot card out of it. Uh, donation machine. I feel bad because like one of my one of my remaining things is to get the donation machine up to 999. But I keep forsaking it in order to get uh I'm just looking for tinted rocks. I keep forsaking it in order to get items to have a better chance of just winning the run. Which is the right way to handle it, because you know you can donate whenever. You might as well take your wins when you got the shot at them, right? Uh unicorn stump. I'll take it. It's not very good for like for us right now. Come on, come on. Come on. You know I want that champion belt. Just to save us some time. I'm gonna blow up the donation machine. We're worth uh, way more than the battery for us. Um, champion belt is the damage upgrade. Seems like a no-brainer to pick up when you already have a lot of champion spawning anyway, and champion spawning is not always a bad thing. I've already gone up here, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. The the only thing that makes unicorn stump great now is that uh, you know we do have an orbital. It doesn't make it amazing. It doesn't make it worthwhile. Unfortunately, like I'm even though it's available every room, people get so mad at me whenever I take unicorn stump. They're always like, use unicorn stump. You can't shoot and use unicorn stump at the same time. If you're not sure what unicorn stump does, it gives you invincibility once per room. Like if you pop it, you get invincibility. It's a pretty amazing item. And it gives you the ability to deal free damage, but it'll also slow us down. Like, I would, I'll would, i use Unicorn Stump maybe on bosses? I'm not sure. But mostly I'm picking it up because A, uh, you know, long-term Guppy's Paw is not that incredible. And B... Eh, da -da, eh, well, we got PhD. Um, B... Our uh, chances of winning go way, way up if we pick up an item like Midas Touched or something like that. Which allows us to use Unicorn Stump walk into enemies, kill them, and turn them into money. Same thing for, uh, E. coli. Many items kind of fall into the same category. That's a lot of money here. Now, we've already been to item room. We've already been to shop. We're just looking for boss room now. I'm so turned around, by the way. You thought I was going to say I'm so turned on, didn't you, you dirty pervert? You cheeky bugger. Oh, that's... I... Uh, my impression of a woman who was probably named Beatrice. Uh, let's just go. Adversary. Not so bad. Adversary is a real problem until you realize that the hard counter to him is actually just moving. No deal with the devil. Very disappointing. I don't know why we deserve that card. I still think the fool card's a little better for us. So we'll be bum rushing the boss if we find it. And uh, Curse of the Blind means we can't see what the... Oh, no! We can't see what the items are! I don't want that. How am I supposed to know what to take from Boss Rush? It's just going to be a random item. Well, maybe we can get superbly lucky and take a good one, but we'll always have that little, that little nagging sensation in the back of our mind that what if we didn't take the best one? You know, what if we get a damage upgrade, but there was like an all stats upgrade? I recognize that there's a pill there, by the way. Man, Curse of the Blind on Boss Rush freaking sucks. No secret rooms? Alright, well, we're gonna do it anyway, because we can. So, we'll fight Mom. This is actually one of the things I consider to be a major perk of Azazel. Not that he needs it, but because he's so good, and because he starts with this Fool card, you can very easily cheese uh, Boss Rush and, and steal a, a free item, which is, you know, a pretty sweet deal for a character who does not need it at all. Now, we need to take the negative, which is down here. We can take a deal with the Devil item. Might as well. Um, we don't know what it is, but... Hey, Lump of Coal. That, that probably gives us a small damage bonus. And we can go into Boss Rush. Now, on Boss Rush, what do you think? I'm thinking bottom left. Big fan. Big fan's okay. 
We'll teleport away, and then we'll go look for our item room in our shop. Free, big fan! Hey, man, that's not so bad. I'll be so mad if somehow I'm able to find out that there was, like, Midas touched in there, though. But at least we didn't pick up, I don't know, dead bird or something like that. Could always be worse. Anytime you get a passive out of a situation like that, I think you gotta be reasonably thankful. Don't give me this horse hockey, Wallmaster. You're gonna die in one hit. I even got two of you in one hit. That's rare. Feels good, though. Alright, item room. That should be a magician card. Item room is Little Haunt. I think that's pretty solid. See? It's always the magician card. What a weird... I wonder if that's a reference to something. It doesn't seem like it would be a glitch. But who knows? I don't know. I wasn't involved in the making of the game. Are you? That's what I thought. Well, maybe you were. If you're watching this, well, hey, I'm a big fan of your work. Thanks so, thanks so much for working hard on a product that I am having a, a lovely time with. I appreciate it a great deal. My Canadian politeness is truly coming out here. Um, yeah, I mean, why not, right? Now that we have little haunts, I mean, Unicorn Stump becomes maybe even a little bit more viable because we can do damage without actually uh, doing damage, you know, without actually shooting. But it still seems 20 times faster to just shoot enemies and have almost no risk of taking damage. So, again, Unicorn Stump... Oh, we should have been using it over and over on the Blood Bank. That is very true. You're not wrong about that one. We got IV bag. That's not so good. It's not so bad, but it's not so good either. We don't really need the money. I could use the HP though, I'll, I'll admit. It's t very tempting to be like, well, I don't need to play the IV, or I don't need to play the blood banks because blah blah blah. I know there's another blood bank available, by the way. I'm, I'm as bad as, uh, as anybody out there. Alright. Um, but we, we could justify playing it for sure. We got enough money to say, yeah, Steam Sale. Oh, good. Thank God. Um, we'll buy this. We'll buy that. Tears Upgrade feels good, man. We'll donate as much as we can. Jam ourselves kind of behind here. Thank God I got some water. You just cool it, guys. Ah. Mmm. That's some high-quality H2O. I'm gonna go to the arcade just in case there is a, um... Demon Judgment, which there is not. That's okay. I'm gonna play this until you get down to like one heart. Just for shits and giggles. We'll even go all the way down if we had to. We got an HP upgrade. Lovely. Well, it turns out we didn't min max our use of the. Uh, do we really need Magician? But do we really want. I guess Pheromone's a little better. Um, we didn't min max our use of the uh, Unicorn Stump, and it didn't matter at all. We could come back in here, by the way, but I would recommend against it. All right, remember, you're going down. We're going down. We're going to the dark room. We're going to Shoal, et cetera, et cetera. I'll try it. I don't expect the rooms that we encounter to be that difficult relative to our amount of damage, which is fairly normal for Azazel. Um, but additionally, since we have Mom's Key, every chest has the potential to give us uh, more items. I think it also gives you... Ooh, that's pretty lucky for us. I think it also gives you more chests, which is actually amazing for, like, Dark Room, right? Like, that would give us more chests, which would actually give us items instead of just the chance to get Guppy items. We can't go through there? We gotta bomb our way through still? Oh, that's bullshit. We already paid the toll. I shouldn't have shot it there. You know what? Let's... I was thinking maybe there would be some bombs that would just explode here, or some enemies that would explode it, but whatever. Forget me now. Ah, <sighs> So, this has been the run full of spacebar items that we don't use. Why am I taking Forget Me Now? Well, my thinking is that we are going to take Forget Me Now, not use it on this floor, maybe. We'll, we'll think about using it on this floor, because we'll get another boss fight. Could give us another deal with the devil, give us a much better chance of becoming Guppy, but my hunch... Ooh, hoo -hoo. well, this is much better. My hunch was that we would use Forget Me Now on... Um, the dark room to get four more red chests and have a better chance to become Guppy there. We'll see what happens. Um, Guppy's head is not an amazing item in and of itself, but oh, that was really. I gotta get stop getting so close to those enemies. It's not an amazing item in and of itself, but it, you gotta admit it's pretty good. It's not gonna win any you know beauty contests, but it's it's solid enough in its own right. I think it's because we're doing a lot of damage. The ability to have some. Really high damage dealing flies is quite nice. Okay, this is just getting 
ridiculous. I don't know. I don't know. No matter what we do, we're gonna lose, uh... I think it's rerolls and stuff on the ground. Oh god, what have I done? Was that a forget-me-now? Well, that's great, because now we used a forget-me-now, uh, and we kept Guppy's head. But we didn't get a second chance at, like, a boss room or something like that. That's, uh, paralysis. But that's okay. We got one Guppy item, and now we're gonna get a chance to get another Guppy item. If we can earn a deal with the devil, which is looking increasingly unlikely. Please don't blow this run. You only get one shot, dog. You've heard the song. We should probably play our blood banks a little bit. Might wait until we, uh, finish our boss room, which is thankfully right here. All right, let's do this. Whoa, blast assist. Got a little too close for comfort there. Okay, there's just a little bit too much stuff on the screen right now. Thank you, little haunts. Good. Good. Deal with the devil. That's ghost effing baby. Are you effing kidding me? That's not very good at all. Um... I don't really want to take experimental treatment. Our damage is so good. Experimental treatment has a remarkable tendency to completely fuck us. I didn't know we could even push that out of the way. That's very weird. I probably should have waited for that payout, huh? I, I'm picking up what you're putting. Probably the same thing there. Sloppy play, Northern Lion. Sloppy play. That's all right. Let's assume you only missed out on money there. Why, uh, why am I going to explore the rest of the floor despite fighting the boss? Hey man, my guppy dream is still alive. I would very much love to come across a curse room. If we came across a curse room, I should very much love to enter that curse room and make it my bride. Why not, right? Where you at, dog? There you are. You turned invisible. That's scary. I didn't know you were invisible. Plus, you never know what other kind of good stuff we're gonna get here. Like, hey, free poison touch. That didn't cost us anything. It was exceptionally easy. Come on, you know you want to give me Guppy. It's been a while. I've forgotten what what Guppy feels like here. Can't enter that yet. Hopefully we'll get some, uh... Oh, come on, you little lumps. Hopefully we'll get some red hearts so that I can actually, uh... Go into that room, because it could have red chests on it. Hopefully I don't die in the process. Like, these rooms are no joke, man. These rooms are annoying. There is a curse room. As of right now, I'm very frightened to... Oh, yes, that was dumb. As of right now, I'm very frightened to enter it, but I'm going to do it nonetheless. Please have red hearts in you. No, that's okay. Black hearts. That's fine. Um, it's, it's not what I was looking for, but we're still sitting pretty here. It might seem like a little overly optimistic, but I th still think we got an amazing chance to win this run. Just because we are Azazel, and our damage is so good. Should be looking for Tinted Rocks. I, I always miss Tinted Rocks on the womb, man. Just get used to it, basically. Red Chess. Red Chess. Red Chess at night, Sailor's the night, Red Chess in the morning. Hey, give me your Red Chess. I believe is how that goes. Just looking for... Oh! Check it out, dog! I found one! Yeah? Okay, yeah, yeah, that's acceptable. I'll take it. Now we can go to that, uh... Eh, might as well, I guess. Now we can go to our, uh... The, 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 the mob trap room. Don't know why I did the da da when that it clearly does not start with a D, but... Don't we all start with a D in our own way? Excuse me. After you, I guess. No red chess. That's alright. We found the secret room. I don't think we've seen that secret room before. It could be nice. Loki, you should just stay at home, dog. Like, you're not going to have a good day today. Chubb? Chubb, come on, man. Haven't we done this song and dance enough? When will we learn as a society to be less violent towards one another? Even if we are, you know, monsters in our own way. All right, well, we'll blow this up again. Again, I uh, can't help but notice that these are not uh, 
These are not guppy. We do not appear to be guppy right now. I would like to be a little bit more in a guppy position. Now I don't even know where I'm going. But I'm gonna try for the kingdom. If I can. Cause it makes me feel like I'm on. Where's the... Oh, I don't know why I'm picking up the money. Oh, it worked. That was genuine excitement right there. I I was getting a little perturbed. Tinted rock, maybe. It's just my luck. She's got tinted rocks in mind. It's just my luck. It happens. Oh, no. No tinted rocks that I can see. All right, down to the next floor. Fuck it. Let's take it. We did get more HP in the process. Range maybe a little smaller? I don't know. Where's Azel? I'm assuming our damage is still good. Curse of the Blind. Can't see what our items are. Well, you know, ah, it seems like we're doing more damage. We're, we just smoked that dude in like half of a hit. Yeah, I think we actually got higher damage here. That's pretty good. You know, we're still in a little bit of a delicate position. I know there were red hearts that we could go back for. I just assumed that it wouldn't be that relevant. You know, there'd be a lot of enemies that would drop red hearts, uh, you know, at some point or another. This curse room is big. This is a big curse room. And we have to deal with the other problem, which is, uh, you know, if we get uh, a guppy item and that guppy item is nine lives, what do we do about that? I think just for fun's sake, we'd probably end up taking it. Could be a terrible idea, though. Look, don't even mess with me here, Wallmaster. What do you think is going to happen? Your eyes were a little bit bigger than your stomach there, if you even have one. Now, even though we're killing all these enemies so quickly... That was really dumb. Uh, seems sensible to me to use Guppy's uh, head as much as possible. I mean, bad gas and pheromones are both kind of, you know, not amazing, I guess. Um, but uh, it seems sensible to use it as much as possible because in doing so, there's a tinted rock right here. In doing so, we're uh, getting lucky enough to uh, get an enormous fly army that can do stuff like that. You know, open the proceedings on mom here and keep us in the, in the black when it comes to doing damage. Andrew WK said, don't stop living in the red, but that's that's very bad financial advice. We're going down. Gotta remember that. I'm amazed that on this, like, these runs that we've been having lately, I haven't had many situations where I've, or I haven't had any situations, I think, where I've gone in the wrong direction. Okay, live bomb, not loving it. Is it really just two Lokis? Two Lokis is not bad. Two Lokis in a treasure trail. I mean, the, the fires are shooting at me. Big deal. Oh, fuck this room, man. It's not that bad. Just gotta stay on our toes. Pick our moment, basically. That was a good one. That was a good moment. Yes. Okay, damage up. Feels good, man. I don't really want to go big room if I can avoid it, but we <laughs> probably can't. Cricket's head was big. You, like, should straight up be dead. If possible, I want to not use flies to destroy enemies. Because if I can use my actual tears instead, it means that I can carry those flies from room to room. And that's, you know, that fly kind of surplus that you generate is extremely meaningful. It makes a huge difference as you, uh... As you go throughout the game. If you can take, you know, 30 flies into your boss fight, you're going to be in a much better place than if you couldn't. But unfortunately, any enemy that doesn't die in one hit is probably going to create a little bit of a fly deficit for us. But you can only really have a fly deficit for one room. Tinted rocks? You got to admit, it's looking a little scary here. The dark room could change it all around. Empress card's pretty nice. Like, sincerely, our, our dark room, if it just made us become Guppy, could be so big. Especially with Mom's key, I think we could get carried pretty hard on the dark room. Not as hard as we would on the chest, but I really don't want to do another Azazel run for a little while. Not because I don't like him. You know, the more time I spend with Azazel, the more I like him. The more I appreciate what he's 
what he's got going on, the, the flavors that he brings to, to Rebirth. AKA like an easy mode. But, you know, I wanna, I wanna get to work on more productive stuff. That was terrible damage. That was worse. I'm gonna die, aren't I? We gotta shoot all this. Don't let me down here, dog. If you don't even beat Satan on this run, that would be a big disappointment. That's not really what I was looking for. Uh, we'll look for our secret room. Maybe a one-up or something in there could have saved us. We shouldn't take damage here. There's a curse room. How tempting. We still should not take damage here. Ride the lightning, my friend. Ride the lightning. Okay, well, we can't do anything there. Uh, check for a curse room here. That could have been big. Allowed us to go to that uh, other room for free. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Well, I still want to go to our curse room. I just can't. I can't right now. It's it's too risky. Full health. Hematomesis. It would lower our health by one, but drop at least one. Drop to one. Ugh. I think it drops based on maybe how many you you have you spend basically. That's all right. We're at two health now instead of one and a half. We could have used it more effectively if we'd gone down to a half first, but that's okay. I should have taken damage there. Are we gonna beat Satan without getting hit twice? That's a tough tough sell, I think. Secret room's a little tricky here. Really? All right. I think we're just gonna go for the boss fight here. Now, the most important thing, and the thing that's gonna be toughest to assure, is no stupid damage. Whoa! We made it. If he's afraid, why is he shooting so quickly? That shouldn't be how fear works. He should stop shooting for a brief second here. Okay, good, good, good. Just the feet now. Should be okay. Again, this isn't normally how it works. But I do think we have a realistically half decent chance of getting carried on the dark room. Probably not right away. But over time. Working over time on the seduction line. What does that line even mean, ACDC? This is bad. Where's our foot? <gasps> oh my god, I dodged right into it and lived. Why don't you take damage anymore? Oh, we did it. Okay. Well, thank god we didn't go to our curse room. Okay, spirit hearts on the dark room. Or give me nine lives at this point. Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. No spiders, though. No spiders. Curse of the Unknown. There's spiders. That's all right. One at a time. Guppy's tail. We're Guppy. Guppy's collar. We could come back to life. Nine lives. Oh, do we take it, though? <laughs> oh, man. This is a tough situation. I have half of a red heart right now. I think we have to take it. Because if I die on the next room and Guppy's collar brings me back, I'll have one HP anyway. I think with nine lives, we stand an okay chance of beating the floor. It's not really the land that's gonna be the problem, it's gonna be the floor. If we can get some extra spirit hearts in the process, even better. But, you know, with nine lives, we don't have to feel as, uh, as scared, I think. We should be more scared, because we've got way less uh, HP. Oh, Book of Shadows. Book of Shadows, you're too good to me. Guppy's head is fine, but we're generating so many flies that really, Book of Shadows is, is the, the MVP we need right now. This is a pretty big waste of uh, flies there. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of that. Maybe didn't necessarily need to use it there. Sister Maggie, see, this is why I was uh, pretty stoked to encounter the mom's key. I think it is the reason we're getting so many extra chests right now. And it, it is it is opposite day when uh, when nine lives makes you feel safer about your HP when it took five HP away from you. But hey, man, it's the way it is right now. I think it's, we got three guppy items as well on our uh, 
on our dark room, which is hilarious. But uh, I think that won us the game, basically. What an exciting run in a way that I did not anticipate. Now, we really are going to want to uh, make sure that we're using Book of Shadows effectively on our boss fight, which is to say... We gotta maybe hold off until we get like halfway through the fight without taking damage and then use it, assuming we bring some extra lives in there. Oh, never mind. The Algiz rune is basically gonna make it so. Oh, you know, I wouldn't say it's impossible for us to lose, but it's gonna give us a crazy period of invincibility. Which is lovely. Well, speaking of invincibility, we'll take a brief second here, and just sort this shit right out. Very thankful that I didn't cost myself a crack at uh, Book of Shadows for the boss fight, probably at least. It's a very large floor, in case you haven't noticed. Probably should have, yeah, I was gonna say, crush one fallen before bringing the other one out like that. I'm gonna be a little nervous about, uh. Ooh, it was a little scary. Uh, about using it now. Using Book of Shadows, that is, just because we got to be getting close. And there we, we know now. Uh, how's Mysterious Liquid? I think it's pretty okay. So here's my thing. We get about that far. We broke him in half already. So we'll use our Algiz Rune. Should make it so that... Oh, we have won so handily there. That is lucky for us. That could have gone a lot worse. And in fact, looked like it was going to go a lot worse for quite some time. But hey, that's a, a Zazel filled out there. Got another character going. Lazarus probably next. Eden, Azazel, and Blue Baby filled out. Making progress. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the run. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more, if you want to see more in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.